Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Yoga gives this wisdom to make better choices in life. And I wish that for everybody. I think we can have a better world. And so we have a slogan, yoga in schools, peace in the world. Continue watching to find out more. Ciao means hi in Latvian, the official language of Latvia, as well as one of the official languages of the European Union. Happy viewers, I'm Aya. The lovely people of Latvia wish for you to be blessed with fortune and wellness. Welcome to our program, Ananda Dara Yoga Village, Helping People Attain Bliss, Part 3 of 3. So basically yoga is very safe, but it is also important to have a teacher. You can learn yoga from books or you go online and you see the postures, but it's still very important to have a qualified, trained teacher to guide you. Rutger Taminga is the co-founder of a special institution that endeavors to spread the yoga spirit, the Ananda Dara Yoga Village, Center for Applied Neo-Humanism. Based in Taichung City, Taiwan, also known as Formosa, the center was established in 1995 by Mr. Taminga, who is originally from the Netherlands, and Mohamukta of Formosa. In the previous episodes, we introduced the center's yoga philosophy and practices, with Mr. Taminga sharing his perspectives regarding the importance of yoga education for children. In today's show, he discusses positive changes that have happened to some of his young students with special needs and their families while practicing yoga. The kind gentleman also provides us with his broader reflections on the potential of yoga to elevate humanity. After I met Sandy, that autistic student, and I saw the benefits and you know, I think this is a kind of arrangement by the universe. Uh, I was invited to give speeches to teachers who are teaching special needs children. And they started to use what I showed them, what I did with Sandy. And they called me back and again and again, I had to share more and more knowledge about yoga. And from that experience and that, that teaching, I started to open more and more classes for the Autistic Association. Uh, we are in hospitals where we are working with children with special needs, where we have weekly classes for parents and kids. And I think the most beautiful thing that I see is families become more peaceful. Because yoga basically, ultimately, is about growing love. And that love feeling, that unconditional openness, is what yoga gives you. So when in a family, a mother, a father, the children, they practice together, or they have some time in the day where they do massage, where there's no pressure for homework or cleaning the house or any other thing, it's just pure you and me. That, that feeling of connection is so, so trust-building and so peaceful. 
that, that this, I think, is the most beautiful gift in, that we see with yoga for children and yoga in families. It changes the whole family dynamic. In general, Mr. Taminga has also observed growth in all his child students. These constructive transformations are on the physical and emotional level. The way we teach children yoga is not the way we teach adults, okay? So adults maybe is more serious and quiet. In our kids' yoga, we, we sing, we tell stories, we play games. But we, so we have active periods and we have slower times where children can more be relaxed. And uh, so the first thing I think children learn is they don't just get excited, they also know how to cool down. And they know how to find their peace. Now I think this is what something all the children should learn is that how to find their own peace. And we have a teacher in Malaysia, she's very wonderful. And she tells her children, you must find your peace button. And sometimes the children said, teacher, I don't know where to find my peace button. I said, well, you have to, spend, you have to spend more time. Maybe try some breathing. Maybe you'll find your peace button. And so actually, this is a very nice thing, the first benefit. Now, the second benefit is children who do regular kids' yoga, whether it's with their parents or in the class. They don't get sick so often. They don't easily get colds. They don't easily get fevers. They have a better digestion. Their lungs are stronger. Their immune system is better. Now, I think this is wonderful. Now, the third benefit I would think of now is emotional stability. Because yoga is about learning who you are, your feelings, your thoughts, you have to learn to observe them and analyze them and then work with them. And so yoga creates this kind of distance within yourself. That you, if you have an emotion, you don't just burst out and act out on that emotion. You use your peaceful mind to analyze and understand why you have this emotion. What can you do with that emotion? How can you be more positive with that emotion. So on that level, EQ level, I think that's more beautiful. And another benefit is that children who are connected with their inner universe, they make better choices in life. So yoga gives this wisdom to make better choices in life. And I wish that for everybody. I think we can have a better world. And so we have a slogan, yoga in schools, peace in the world. Yoga practice can uplift our lives tremendously. As more and more people take up yoga, we may see a positive global shift in consciousness, leading to a more balanced and harmonious planet. We asked Mr. Taminga for his thoughts on what represents a true yoga practitioner. A yoga practitioner in, in Sanskrit, in yoga we use Sanskrit a lot. Sadaka means somebody who disciplines himself or herself and moves to a sense of inner perfection. Now we are all in the process, so I wouldn't put myself higher than anybody. Um, Sometimes I joke that I have to be a teacher to be a better student, to learn more. And so some ways I think we are all in the same path, all in the pipeline, and we all have to move forward. And I think the, the main thing for everybody is not to waste time. Do your practices, listen to your teachers, and Find your own inner wisdom. Every opportunity we get, we should take that. And, uh, every, every teaching, every, every book, or every inspiration, treasure that inspiration. And like in the Buddhist ways, even our enemies are maybe our greatest blessings for becoming more aware 
of our own inner self. So that, that thankfulness and that uh, active attitude for le learning is, is what keeps us alive. Like now I'm 60, but still I feel I'm just like a child learning and learning and learning. So there's never a stage where you are too big to learn or too famous or too well-known or too capable. Um, there are many stories in the yoga tradition of great masters and who at a certain old age lost everything they worked for because they gave up not working on themselves. My teacher said, don't work till you die. Even while dying, you have to work. Work means work on yourself. Finally, we asked Rutger Taminga what he would say if he had a chance to meet Supreme Master Ching Hai. Actually, a master is known by the disciples. When I see all of you and the sweetness and the, the peace that comes from your hearts, uh, it's all the blessing of the master in you. So I think it's a gratefulness to have all of you with us today here. The noble endeavors of Rutger Taminga and Mohamukta that assist people in attaining a blissful life through practicing yoga continue to bear fruit. May their mission of spreading the seeds of universal love be welcomed by everyone they meet. To learn more about the Ananda Dara Yoga Village, please visit facebook.com forward slash sevacenter.com dot tw. Lively viewers, thank you for your company today on our program. Up next is Tim Kuo Tu's Love Will Win, part 6 of 9, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May all of us perceive our inner oneness with the Divine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash hl. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique hl. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada hl. Programa de nuestra offer en multilingue. Puis vous pouvez vous taper suprimastetv.com barra oblica schedule și suprimastetv.com barra oblica halu.